Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode at the Green Table from the Vintage and Retro Pipe series. As you see, today I'm going to show you two pipes made by Josef Brammer, a pipe maker from Austria. He is very present in the area where I live. Most serious tobacconists uh, have pipes made by him. He usually makes larger sized freehand pipes with 9mm filter drilling, but he can also do smaller traditional pipes, although he prefers the freehand style. And this is what the customers demand. But recently he also made some pretty well done retro pipes. And here are two examples. I don't know if this pipe on the right would fit in retro pipe, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. And of course, this pipe is as retro as it gets. Um, Mr. Brahma is a tool maker by, by trade. He is retired now. So he's making more and more pipes by the day. He is also very, very well known for his mortar pipes made from bog oak. And he's one of the biggest experts on this topic. And he still has a huge stock of high quality bog oak. But anyway, this pipe is stamped Josef Brammer, handmade in Austria or made in Austria. It's one of his cheaper pipes. His higher grades have stamped selection and a letter. And if I got it correct, this pipe was made out of a pre drill stummel and thus it was cheaper than its usual products. So let's see. We have an acrylic mouthpiece with a P in a brown dot as his logo. It's a 9mm filter pipe. We have a stem extension made out of antler. And as a funny side note, I have to hide this pipe when the dog of my girlfriend is around. The dog is clearly eyeing this part and I'm very careful where I do place my pipe. So if you have pets, animals around, be careful with such pipes. And again, here is a 9mm drilling. And you could fit two filters inside. A uh, bowl on the larger size as most of the pipes made by Mr. Brammer. And as I said, this is what the market here demands. Nice, but not that spectacular grain, but no fills. Mr. Parma isn't using fills per se. If uh, spots or holes inside appear, the pipes get rusticated and that's it. The pipe is very well balanced, very well smoker. And if you give me a second, I will show it to you dismantled, dismounted, dismantled. <laughs> give me a second. So I'm back again. As you see, you can also smoke this pipe without the shank extension. Then you have a nice uh, on par like shape. Lasts very good in the hand. And here you have the extension. You see the 9mm tenon fits in here. And down here it has also 9mm tenon. Very well done if you ask me. And the other pipe here, that's a real beauty and a real stunner. As you see, it's very long. It has some kind of plastic mouthpiece. And this mouthpiece is coming out of an old stock left by some unknown pipe maker. Such pieces are very rare and highly sought after. Because there are no, or almost no companies that still produce items like that, parts like that. So pipe makers that wish to do make retro pipes are always on the lookout for this. It is screwed in here, in this piece of antler. I don't know the connection between these two parts. There's a metal ring. I do not disassemble this. A wooden shank. Not sure which wood they used because I'm not an expert on, on woods. A metal ring. Down here you have a 9mm filtered connection again. Again, very nice bowl, not the most spectacular grain. And I guess this keeps the price of this pipe in an affordable level. A silver colored cap, 
don't know if it is real silver or not. And if you look at the top, the cap isn't mounted straight, but a little angled. This is that you can open up the cap to full extent, because otherwise it would always fall down again. So you can open it up very nicely and it will stay that way. I will show you the pipe disassembled in a second. So here we are again. As you see, a modern day 9mm Tenon. As I said, this is screwed in. It also has this nice decoration and the green band. All the pipes that were just stick together needed this band in case the pipe falls apart so that the parts don't hit the ground. With this pipe everything fits perfect, nothing is falling apart, so in reality here this is pure decoration. So if you intend to smoke such a pipe, keep the lid open while smoking. It will keep the inside clean, this will really be covered with tars and dirt if you close the lid during smoking and your pipe will always go out. This is just intended to carry a pre-filled pipe with you or if you're smoking under very windy conditions then you might keep the lid closed but for smoking this should stay open. But I guess I said this before in several other videos. So yet again both pipes in all the glory. I will put a link to Mr. Promise website in the information box below this video capable of it so if you have any questions drop him a line and also if you're interested in mortar pipes or working with mortar I'm pretty sure he has some impressive knowledge about this topic so thanks for watching and hopefully to see you soon cheers